Step into Step into Value zone Value zone Value zone Hypermar Button Chain Hi I am Uday Bhaskar I am an English and soft skills trainer I have been into this English and soft skills for the past 19 years Right now 19th year is running my dear I have been in Before I came into this English and soft skills I worked in Border Security Force BSF You must have heard about this my dear Right Let's jump into our session. In the previous class, we started verbs. There we discussed helping verb. Helping verb denotes tense, I said. Tense means time, time of the action. There are three tenses. Basically, there are three tenses. Present tense, past tense and future tense. Action belongs to present, past or future. Depends upon the helping verb. Got it, my dear? So, we must learn about 24 help. There are 24 helping verbs and we must learn sentences with these 24 helping verbs, I said. If we can construct sentences with these 24 helping verbs, we can communicate any feeling in English with flying colors, I said. Come on, my dear friends, practice sentences with 24 helping verbs. Coming to the part, main verb. Main verb denotes action. I said one more thing, helping verb and main verb together, called verb. Got it, my friends, here? Remember that. So we are going to learn about main verb. It's about action. Every action word has five forms. I repeat, every action word has five forms. Like see this example. Play is a verb, right? It has five forms. Form means rupam. It has five forms. Play, plays, playing, played and played like this every action word has five forms person who learns english must learn about these five forms english nechukone prati okkaru kuda verb yokka five forms raavalsina venindi conjugation antam deenni kachithanga nechukovali action word tunna five forms enduku nechukovali sir antuntar kada right come on, let me explain you this is called base form this is called base form of singulars. Base form, base form of singulars. We use this base form to say regular activities in English. English law, regular activities chapranic vartonta. Until Roju chase funnel chapal English law. Then sentence with base form. We must practice. We must learn. And again, ING form the verb to say continuous actions in English. Continuous actions. There are different kinds of continuous actions, present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous, like this, continuous actions. To say continuous actions, we use ing form of the verb. To say completed actions in English, completed, I point the anjapali. Then we use past form of the verb, past form, past participle form, this is. This past past form is used with have forms in basics. See, in helping verbs, there are have forms. Have, has, had. That past past form is used with have, has and had. Number one. Number two. In passive voice, we use past past form only. So, my dear friends, we must learn five forms of the verbs. Got it? Unless you learn, you will get struck. Nechkulera, language is stuck. My sentence construction from mistakes was there. You must learn five forms. Let me take one more example. Take is a verb. What are the five forms of take? Take talk of five forms. Takes. Taking. Took. Taken. Like this. Five forms it has. You must learn. Sir, here there is ed, sir, play, played. But here, take, past form, there is no ed, sir. What is this? Very good question. Here, see, play is a verb. Its past form ends with ed. Take is a verb. Its past form does not end with ed. Got it? This is called irregular verb. This is called regular verb. I repeat, past form of a verb that ends with ed is called regular verb or weak verb and term then. And then, okay, verb yaka past form ed is end out then regular verb and term. And okay, verb yaka past form ed is end out then that is called 
irregular verb anta that is my friends took and again there is a verb cut right cuts cutting cut cut here see past form is as same that of the present form past form present form rendu okay la unnai this is called unchangeable verb sir idantha yen sir yen cheyamantaru led contestant cheyavalsindi evvariki excuse led ikkada meeku naaku kuda excuse led nechukovalsindi english lo maatladante kachithanga five forms raavali let me give you a simple example practical example right it happened once uh, uh, it happened to visit an it it office so okay man high tech city degunna it office ku vellanu i'm a fresher appude join ayinattunnaru ammai సెక్యూరిటీ ఆఫీస్కి వెళ్ళి ఐడి కార్డ్ కలెక్ట్ చేసుకున్నారు కలెక్ట్ చేసుకొని టీమ్ లీడ్ కావాలి ఫోన్ చేస్తున్నారు ఆమె ఆమె ఫోన్లో ఎలా చెప్తున్నారంటే సార్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ మై ఐడి కార్డ్ అని చెప్పారు పర్ఫెక్ట్ సెంటెన్స్ అది ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ మై ఐడి కార్డ్ అని చెప్పారు సి దిస్ ఈజ్ మెయిన్ వర్బ్ పాస్ పాస్ ఫామ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ హెల్పింగ్ వర్బ్ హ్యావ్ ఫామ్ సి ఈ అగ్రిమెంట్స్ కరెక్ట్గా రావాలి మీకు రావాలంటే ఈ బేసిక్స్ అన్నీ రావాలి అమ్మాయి నేర్చుకున్నది చాలా పర్ఫెక్ట్గా మాట్లాడింది ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ మై ఐడి కార్డ్ సార్ అని చెప్పేసి అన్నదాన్ని గాట్ ఇట్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ యూ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ సెంటెన్సెస్ లైక్ దిస్ పర్ఫెక్ట్లీ యూ మస్ట్ లర్న్ ద బేసిక్స్ ఫస్ట్ మైడియా సెంటెన్స్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ దేర్ ఆఫ్టర్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ టెన్సెస్ టూ టెన్సెస్ కూడా ఇదే బేస్ మీకు టెన్సెస్ టెన్సెస్ అని పరిగెడుతుంటారు ఆ టెన్సెస్ అర్థం కావాలన్నా సరే ముందు ఈ వర్బ్స్ అర్థం కావాలి మీకు వర్బ్స్ అర్థం అయితే టెన్సెస్ ఎ కేక్ వాక్ పెద్ద కష్టమే కాదండి okay my friends here so that is my friend learn sentences and here verbs five forms kachchidanga raavalsindi ikkada everyone excuse ledu right friends contestant cheyandi this is right my friends here practice practice and remember one more point you want to learn english without a trainer without a coach my dear friends remember this point learning english without a coach is like a man blinking in the dark room without torch light ante కోచ్ ఒక ట్రైనర్ లేకుండా ఇంగ్లీష్ నేర్చుకోవడం అంటే ఒక డార్క్ రూమ్లోకి టార్చ్ లైట్ లేకుండా వెళ్తే ఎలా ఉంటుంది తెలుసా అలా ఉంటుందండి కాబట్టి గో టు ఎ ట్రైనర్ రైట్ లర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ హిమ్ రైట్ వై దిస్ ట్రైనర్ వై దిస్ కోచ్ ద గైడర్స్ ద కరెక్ట్ అవర్ మిస్టేక్స్ ద క్లారిఫై అవర్ డౌట్స్ ద మోటివేటర్స్ ద ఎంకరేజర్స్ ఓకే మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ డోంట్ మిస్ దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ గో టు యర్ టీచర్ ట్రైనర్ అండ్ లర్న్ Wish you all the best, my dear.